All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Irvin Plummer with South Florida Gospel Media Group, and we are here with the one and only Dwayne Woods. How you doing today, sir? I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm good. I can't complain. I can't complain. It's it's kind of cold here in Florida, but I know y'all got it worse where you at. <laughs> well, you know, I'm in Atlanta, so it's not as bad as, uh, uh, oh, as up man. north. Yeah, so I'm still, oh, I thought you I'm was in Detroit. Fire. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get this interview started. Let's talk about your single first before we talk about the new album. Your brand new single featuring Dave Hollister and Anthony Hamilton, friend of mine, which is literally blazing the radio stations down here in South Florida. Tell us about that. Wow. That, well, number one, I just appreciate your support. Thank you so much for playing. Um, it's when I first initially got the demo, the song was written by a, a young man named Esty Bullock um, out of the Pennsylvania area. He's the same one that wrote Sold Out for Hezekiah Walker. And okay. uh, so when we uh, got the initial demo of the song, uh, I immediately, of course, I, I loved the song from the very beginning. But I, when I first heard Anthony's voice on it because it was something about the track. It was just gritty enough for Anthony's voice. And then as we kept listening, I started hearing Dave's voice. Uh, on the bridge part, and so both of them have been friends of mine for years, many, many years, well over 10 years, actually. And so I called both of them up, and without hesitation, they both were like, yeah, we'll do it. Uh, and it was just so much fun getting them on the song. I mean, I actually sat in the session with Anthony. I was doing a Skype session with Dave while he was recording, and, and uh, it, I just believe that we just came up with something that's absolutely wonderful. Wow, wow. So what does that song actually mean to you, friend of mine? Like, tell us what that means to you. Well, it's amazing because my favorite hymn is What a Friend We Have in Jesus. So uh, for FC to write it and then have that midsection in there uh, where we could, I can kind of quote those lyrics, all our sins and griefs to bear, what a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer, I, it, it, it it made the song become so much more personal to me because even uh, during my concert sets, when when I do let go, I always sing the tag part of "What a Friend We Have in Jesus," and and uh, and and it's not just that. I just believe that all of the songs that that we know of, to, even to this day, that talks about a friend and God being a friend and having friends, so on and so forth. They've always been great songs. They've always been great messages. So I absolutely love it. Okay. Okay. Now let's talk about the album, Life Lessons. When is that dropping? We're looking for the top part of February, um, and I'm so excited about it. it it's, it's been a long time coming. It's been a work in progress, but uh, I'm excited, number one, because this project itself will be released on my own label. My business partner and I, uh, we branched out and we started our own label, uh, distributed through Central South. It's called Soul Therapy Music Group. So that's that's great, number one. Um, but then number two, we were able to uh, kind of contact all of the people that we've had great relationships throughout the years in the industry. So uh, it's multi-produced. Of course, I will never do a record without P.J. Morton. So we're, we, we've teamed up with P.J. Morton again. Uh, we have uh, Gerald and Tammy Haddon who gave us in the middle of it with uh, Isaac Curry uh, there on the, on the project as well. I teamed up with Mint Condition, um, who is oh, wow. my favorite, favorite bands in the entire world. They're on they're on this project as well. Uh Avery Sunshine, I teamed up with her for a duet. Uh it's it's yeah, just it's nice. a lot of great yeah, just a lot of great singers, a lot of great music, but most of all is it's a record full of lessons, full of things that I've had to learn. Uh, as I was growing, as I was developing, even over the last few years, you know, I I kinda mm-hmm. get real personal with the messages and everything. So uh I'm real excited about it. Well, wow. we're excited about it, too. Maybe we can arrange some type of listening party down here in South Florida. Absolutely. I would love it. Well, number one, South Florida is one of my favorite areas to come to anyway, so I, I hope that we can definitely make that happen. Yeah, we probably could. Okay, now you mentioned P.J. Morton. He um he produced your track, Never Be the Same, right? Absolutely, yeah. He produced Never Be the Same. He also is the writer and producer of Let Go. So uh, that's the reason why I said I will never do a record without him because he just knows my voice. He's He's been mm-hmm. the one that, that kind of set that tone for me in the industry. And uh, and Never Be the Same was the very first um, actual single release that we had from this upcoming record, my life. Uh, I'm sorry, my, uh, this, this upcoming record, uh, Life Lessons. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great, great, great song. Thank you so much for even pushing that as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now let's talk about fatherhood. How do you mm-hmm. balance fatherhood 
with your busy schedule of singing and ministering at different places all over the country? Um, you know what? One of the things that I, I had to really do was I had to assure my daughter that uh, I'm completely there. I'm completely involved in what it is that she she's doing, what she has to do. Uh, even when it came down to school, um, the, the teachers were so impressed with the simple fact that, uh, that I do what I do, but I was always present, and I, I made sure that whenever we made any type of schedules that um, I, I was, you know, actively checking out what's going on with high school, what's going on with her classes, what's going on with this, does she have any, any type of uh, uh, presentations coming up, so on and so forth. And I just had to just really settle myself and, and, mm-hmm. and make sure that I was there for her. So sometimes it can be a struggle, but I just believe that family is the most important thing. And, of course, she's, she's now a junior, I mean, a, a sophomore in, in college. So, wow. Uh, you know, I, <laughs> yeah, so it was, it's, it, was, it was definitely a um, – a great learning lesson for me, but but she's she's definitely moved on, and I'm I'm so excited about what she's doing. Now, would she or is she interested in following your footsteps as a musical artist? No, she really wants to be a veterinarian, so that's what she's studying right oh, now. Wow. Um, yeah, so she she loves to sing. She has a great voice, but she was like, "You go on and do that. That's that's good for you. I want to be <laughs> that's daddy." <laughs> and stuff. I don't blame her. Yeah, absolutely. She said, "I don't want to interfere with that. You go ahead and have fun." <laughs> okay, okay. Now I know um, I was doing some research, research, and I read something where you dealt with a bout of depression. I did this depression or getting over this depression um, contribute to the album? Absolutely. It, it's, it's one of the, the major tones of the record, just because a lot of times people feel like that we as gospel artists, we have everything together, that everything is going yeah. well, and, and that we don't have any struggles or anything like that. But, but when, when life happens, you know, sometimes it can take its toll. You know, we, we often need reminders, uh, the same way that people testified to me of how, how much let go and let God had been such an inspiration to me. Sometimes we need to have those same reminders our own selves. And so yeah. uh, even dealing with with, with um, being a single dad, and, and when I was trying to get into the mold of that, I didn't understand everything. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. A lot of times, you know, I was, I was working, I was pushing and, and trying to make things happen. And like I said, life just, just kind of took its toll over me. And uh, I, I battled really hard with depression. I would come home, I would do a concert and come home, and I would have to face, you know, real-life issues, and it would just get to me. But, um, you know, I just thank God for definitely his healing power, and I thank God that when I wanted to give up, he couldn't let me give up. I had to keep mm-hmm. pushing, and so uh, that's, that's basically the message of the record. There's one song that we have on there called Worry and Never Help Nobody, and It Won't Help You, and, uh, you know, these are just songs that we want people to be able to kind of take and, and make them a part of their own testimony, a part of their own life, and help them through whatever it is that they're facing as well. Wow, wow. That's awesome. Now, Everybody knows you have worked with, you know, some of the greats. We can we can name them for days. Who is maybe who is maybe one or two people that you say that really impacted your life in a way that you will never forget? Uh, you know what? I my my biggest influence has been Donald Lawrence. Um, I, I he of course is the executive producer of the very my first two records, um, introducing Dwayne Woods and My Life Lyric as well. But I've been with Donald well over fifteen years and and traveling with the Tri City Singers and then being a part of the company. Donald always kept me involved in anything that he was doing, and uh, so I learned so much from him. He was always one of those ones that he. Told, he empowered us. He told us, don't just be an artist. Be a business person. Understand mm-hmm. the industry. Understand what it is that you have to do. Understand what it means to produce. Understand what it means being in the studio. Uh, and, and it's because of him that I'm doing what it is that I'm doing now because he's really trained me. He really taught me. And so, you know, it's like now we'll record songs and then we'll send the finished, the finished product to him. Uh, you know, and he's so proud. But he really, really, really empowered. Not just me, but there's so many that come from Donald's camp. You have your Sherry yeah. Jones Moffitt. You have, you know, Anita Wilson. You have uh, um, uh, LeJune Thompson. So many of us that he really put his hand of approval on, and he just kind of really pushed us out there. And we're, we're you know, definitely success stories just because, you know, the Bible declares your gift will make room for you and bring you before great men. And yeah. Donald is one of the ones that I can really, do, really say that God really placed in my life as a great mentor. Wow, wow. That's awesome. Now, who 
would you like to work with, whether, you know, dead or alive, whether it be secular or gospel or CCM, name one person from each category that you would really like to work with that you've never been able to work with yet. Wow. Um, let's see. Uh, definitely, and if if I had to choose R and B, and I hope I don't, <laughs> I don't get blasted <laughs> for this. But if it, if it had to be R and B, I would say that I would want to work with Prince. I just think that Prince music is wow. absolutely yes. Yeah, he's absolutely timeless in his music, and you know I listen to this latest record that he has out right now, and and I'm just going bananas just because. It's it's almost like he's gonna live forever. His music is definitely gonna live forever. <laughs> he <laughs> looks like it. <laughs> Absolutely. So I would say, you know, from that end, it would be Prince. Definitely in gospel music, I've never had the opportunity to. I've, I've worked with him on stage, but I've never had the opportunity to share the mic with him. And that would be Pastor Marvin Winans. He is one of my wow. my most favorite male vocalists um, in the gospel music industry. So definitely him. Um, and let's see, in CCM, um, one of my favorite singers is Natalie Grant. Um, oh my God! Yeah, yeah, I, I would, I would absolutely love to to work with her as well. Um, and and then you know who's become like my my ultimate favorite as far as as far as hip hop is concerned is Lecrae. Um, oh and, yeah, and it's not it's not a far stretch, but I just I just love what he's doing. I love the sound that he's creating, and I love the message that he's bringing to the world. Uh, right now, it's just absolutely phenomenal. Okay, now what about Whitney Houston? If she was alive today, would that be someone? Oh my goodness! And you, this live record of Whitney Houston, it, it's giving me chills just because her voice. You got it already? Oh, I have it already, man. It's it's oh, absolutely man. phenomenal. It's absolutely it gives me chills. Anytime I listen to it, you know, I've been listening to it for the last week, and it's it's her voice is just absolutely remarkable. Just absolutely remarkable. Yeah, that though all of those will be some great, 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 great um, collaborations. We're gonna make that happen too. By the way, yeah, <laughs> cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so now, what advice would you give the upcoming artists who are trying to make it in a business but don't really know where to go or who to go to? Because in this industry, gospel or secular, mm-hmm. it's a lot of snakes in the grass. They see the talent, absolutely, and they want to pounce on you, but then. When they get what they want, they leave. So what advice would you give the upcoming artists? Um, I I would tell people to definitely, of course, like you said, be watchful, but invest in your own self. And and then make sure that, that number one, you have a covering. You have somebody that you're – that you're consulting with, you're talking to, you seek the counsel of, uh, counsel of, 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 of great people that are influential. You know, whether, whether you have a connection in the industry as far as a musician is concerned or not, you have a pastor, you have a pastor's wife, you have, you know, people in the church that you can be accountable to. I've served for so many years, and, and even to this day, I still serve in ministry before I even consider myself an artist. And a lot of times... Um, we're finding young people that will just jump out there and, and their main focus is just to be an artist and they don't even care anything about what they can contribute to a church ministry when that church ministry can be your largest supporter. And yeah. so um, I, I tell people all the time, make sure you find yourself a great covering, somebody that you can confide in, confide in someone that you know that you can talk to, someone that you know is praying for you because that's going to help you in the long run to even make great decisions or make wise decisions when you start to work with industry people or management or so on and so forth. Mm, Okay, okay, good advice. Now, how can we keep in touch with you? I am everywhere, of course, on uh, Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. Twitter and Instagram, I'm D-Woody D. That's D-W-O-O-D-Y-D. On Facebook, of course, I'm Dwayne Woods. And we just launched today a um, a soft launch of my new website, which is DwayneWoods.rocks. That's DwayneWoods.R-O-C-K-S. We wanted something a little bit different than .com or .org or, you know. So it's a little bit different, but it's it's, it's great. And that way people can find out everything. We're getting ready to do a giveaway of the new Christmas single that we have, Time for Love, uh, and a lot of different things that we'll be doing. Of course, we have videos where I've been in the studio with with Mint Condition and with Anthony and with Dave and with all of the people working on the record. And then we also have some things that we're going to be doing as far as giveaways for people on the site as well. So those are all of the ways to be able to keep in contact with me and see what we're up to. 
Okay, okay, cool. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Irvin Plummer with South Florida Gospel Media Group, and we are here with Dwayne Woods.